exciting friends! Welcome back to another episode of Tic Tac Tot Story Time with me, Steffi. How are you? I hope you are doing fine wherever you are. This time, we are going to explore about human body and we're gonna start from our skeleton system. In today's book, we are going to learn about different types of bones. Some are small and some are long. Are you ready to learn about our bones together? Then, let's read Bones. Please enjoy the story. Bones by Stephen Kremsky, illustrated by Davy Jones. A step one book, Random House, New York. Walk, jump, touch your toes, bend your knees, hold your nose. Any way you move, your bones are helping out. You have 206 bones in your body. These bones fit together perfectly. Together, they form your skeleton. Your bones are hidden under your skin. But you can feel them and see their shape. Your bones start out small, just the way you do. As your bones grow, you grow too. The smallest bones are inside your ears. The biggest bones are in your legs. Some of your bones act as armor. A flat bone in the middle of your chest protects your heart. Your ribs are a bony cage for your lungs and other squishy parts. The bones of your face are part of your skull. It covers your brain like a helmet. Some people think skulls look scary. They like to wear skull masks on Halloween. Long ago, pirates used a flag with a skull and crossbones on it to frighten people. Today, a skull and crossbones means danger or poison. When you see it, be careful. Your bones do not bend, so they are joined in places where you need to bend. These places are called joints. Your spine or backbone has many joints. It helps you to stand up straight or do a somersault. Our bones work with our muscles to make our bodies move. Bones are hard and strong, but sometimes they break by accident. Luckily, the broken parts can grow back together. After many weeks, the bone is healed. Some old bones turn into fossils after millions of years. Fossils tell us a lot about animals that lived long ago, such as dinosaurs. Many animals have bones like ours, but their skeletons match their shapes and sizes. Toads and goldfish have much smaller bones than we do. Elephants and whales have much bigger bones than we do. Some animals have no bones at all. Jellyfish and worms wriggle and squiggle without them. If you had no bones, you would look like a blob. So when you run, or stretch, or grab, or chew, think of your bones and say, Thank you! 
and that's the end of the story. Certainly, our bones support our body and protects our inside too. They work together with our muscles to allow us to do the things that we do. My reading friends, when you think of your bones, you can say thank you to them. If you like this kind of story, please give a thumbs up. Also subscribe to our channel to hear other special story from me. And also you can follow us on our Instagram. See you in the other story.